today then I'm having a change and I'm going to move on and do the foot plates. Uh, you'll have seen it in my past videos where I've already done my rear foot plates. Uh, it says to make them out of 16th plate but I've actually made them out of a little bit thinner plate because I'm putting angle iron right through and having a continuous foot plate so I've got plenty of support. The front foot plate says make it out of 8 thick mild steel. Again I'll be using slightly thinner stuff. Now the, the material I'm using, I've got this sheet of galvanised plate which I've had lying around and I've just cut it up into some manageable pieces and I'm using this uh, it's actually 18 gauge which is 48 thou so obviously it's thinner but once it's bolted down to my angle on my, on my loco it'll be adequately strong enough for that you'll have seen my rear foot plates many times now in videos because I did them early on and in for the rest of the foot plates then what I'm going to do I'm going to use the same material 18 gauge galvanized steel and I'll etch prime it to make sure paint sticks and I'm going to make one solid piece for the front here and I'm going to cut it out to come round the cylinders and end at the end of the cylinders here. That way my next plate is going to come up straight behind the cylinder covers and it will not be so noticeable the, the joint. So that's one piece and the other four pieces this, this piece here I'm going to split into two to come round my slides and just have a joint there and there with a cut out on each side of each plate. So there's one, two, three, four, five plates to do. I've actually made a start on the front plate. I've got the outer dimensions cut. I've just got to do the cut relevant cutouts now to bring me around my cylinders. And how I'm cutting this is with my hand slitting grinder with a slitting wheel in. And I'm doing it outside on my outside workbench because it's a bit bit messy and the sparks flying all over the place. Uh, so I won't be able to actually video me doing that because I, I don't want sparks to catch lens at camera. But I'll take you outside and show you how, how I'm going to do it. Right, so basically all I'm doing is I've got this bench. I've got a straight piece of metal here and all I'm doing is sliding me material underneath up to the line and I'm clamping it with a screw and all I'm using is my slitting grinder with a very narrow wheel in and just running across it like that
that's it for this part then. Uh, if you've not seen my other videos, take a look at them, and if not, I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.